collectible spot. We are having a look at the Bic Buddy collectible art. Bic Plastics, B-I-C, plastics.com. If you want to check out more, it's this collectible art piece is Half Dead Buddy. It says, warning, choking hazard. It's not, not recommended for ages, uh, well, recommended for ages 15 and up, so not recommended for ages uh, 15 below. Um, the window box, as you can see, shows what it will look like inside, but don't worry, I'll open this up, give you guys a better look. And spin around the side, Bic Buddy. This is an eight inch piece. And that's what it's gonna look like on the back side, designed for Bic Plastics and Marca 27, 2009 www.marca27.com if you guys want to check out more of the artwork there. And that's what it looks like on the other side. Spot's going to take a break and uh, get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the Bic Buddy. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. With the Big Buddy out of packaging, you can probably see why Spot really wanted to pick this piece up because it recreates a luchador style wrestler just really really bulky nice big bulky vinyl piece now above and beyond it being a luchador you can see one thing that's very different about the piece is split right down the middle one side is skeletal and one side is the luchador it also very much reminds me of two-face which one of my favorite villains another reason why i want to pick it up wrestling and batman you can see why this would be such a fantastic piece to pick up. It's got some tattoos going on there as well. On the one side, he's got, uh, ironically enough, he's got the tattoo of his hand, uh, hand bone and arm bone. But then on the other side is the actual, the actual uh, skeletal arm. Coloring is quite nice too. Now these come in different colors, different variations, but they all utilize the same Bic body body. Nice, round, it's a big piece. I mean, eight inches. It's a good full-size body, like the lower half. Doesn't have any sort of movement or articulation, but it still moves in the arms and it moves in the head, although it's just really, really stiff. He does also have a cape. Where are we flipping around there on the back? It says half dead. And there's what it looks like underneath. M27 half dead. It's got some stitching going on there too. It appears that you could theoretically take the cape off. There's a little fastener clip here, but for the fact that I probably would struggle a little bit more getting it back on, I'd be inclined to probably just leave it as is. I love also this skeletal uh, logo down below there too. The face is very unique also, almost like a almost like a pebble-shaped head, and then the little lip here at the bottom where his mouth will reside. But I have to say this for the Big Buddy, the paint is phenomenal on this, really a lot of detail. We're even like underneath his uh, uni, unitard, I guess for the wrestling singlets. Underneath he's got his tattoo going on there. It looks like a bird, Some looks like a rose. Really an awesome, awesome looking piece. If you like luchadors, like wrestling really in general but if you like luchador style wrestling and you like skeletons and stuff like this this is pretty much has everything that you would need all packed into one thing and then basically there's the top there too some you can see the stitching crack in the skull that's also a nice touch uh is he heavy no he's actually doesn't have a lot of weight to him a lot of these vinyl pieces are misleadingly light and it's just because of the material that they use uh, it's a good sized figure but it also is a nice light piece too which is good and then finally underneath you have the signatures. Also Bic Buddy M27 Bic Plastics underneath. Very, very, very cool piece. Uh, today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the M27 Bic Buddy Half Dead. And it certainly lived up to its name. It is Half Dead. If you guys are interested in checking out more from the folks over at Bic Plastics, Spot will provide all that information right down below here. Certainly also stay tuned. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. See you guys next time.